Hey everybody, it's about 7.30 in the morning. Got about three inches of snow uh, by my unofficial thing. This table started out with nothing on it last night. So I'm gonna try to plow when it gets light. So let's do a quick walk around the railroad before I start. Um, while I'm doing it, this is the only, I have three battery powered locomotives. Unfortunately, they all use different control systems. This one has a uh, Rail Pro. I've got a Revo and I can't remember what the other one is now, but I can't really attach multiple units together, try to control two locomotives at the same time. It's not very feasible. We did have a slight bit of freezing rain before the snow started. Um, so we'll have to see how it goes. But basically I don't have the option of adding more power and my curves are shy, uh, sharp. So I don't have any six axle locomotives. So this is the most powerful locomotive that I have. If it won't work, I'm out of luck. So we'll fire it up and give it a try. I'll give you a spoiler alert. The snow was too deep. Um, there's a reason why there's rotary snow piles because it uh, that way it throws the snow away from the tracks. When you have a wedge plow, there's just not enough space to throw it away and I just don't have enough power uh, with this locomotive to do it. So I removed the caboose, didn't have that dead weight, and I went around with a broom and I swept track snow away from the tracks a little bit uh, that's why i was only plowing about an inch and i still had to back up and you know run a little bit fast at times but eventually got it done as you'll see i went through last night and uh, before it started snowing and sprayed some like silicone lubricant on some of the turnouts and stuff, so hoping the, they wouldn't get packed with snow. Uh, right here, I had to try twice, and it didn't uh, work. I finally figured out a log from the sawmill had migrated down on the tracks. <laughs> so once I moved the log, I was able to push through it. But really, with this setup, with my tight curves, uh, this plow and this locomotive, Two inches of dry snow is pretty good. Uh, three inches is just a little bit too much. Still fun, still enjoyed it. So here I'm gonna to try to plow the yard and I didn't really clear it off enough on this first track. So didn't make it very far. Again, I had to dig out the turnouts and I had a little screwdriver. I was trying to um, clean the flanges so I could get uh, through there. And these are all Pico turnouts and some of the throw bars have broken because uh, they're plastic. And so I have to try to, you know, just put them in place with my hand. Uh, I've repaired one, uh, but I found a couple more that are broken I'll have to repair in the spring. Yeah, here I just did not clear off enough snow. <laughs> I did coat the plow with a silicone, uh, PB Blaster lubricant before I started. Um, so the snow is not really sticking on the plow much, which is good, but it's just limit to what you can do. It's, the snow is not scale weight, <laughs> it's full weight. And this is the equivalent of, um, I guess about seven or eight feet of snow. which I don't think a GP9 in real life could uh, push a wedge plow through seven or eight feet of snow. So 
So I probably shot about now oh, 15 minutes of video, but a lot of that was like me uh, re-railing <laughs> the plow and things. So this is just like the, the highlights of it. I'm trying to dig out <laughs> the switch here, the, the, the throw. Now I'm trying to clean the flanges. And you can tell it's still snowing. And it's about 26 degrees. So the snow is not super dry. We're supposed to get really cold this weekend. But the snow is going to stop today around noon, I think. And that's about it for it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. It was fun. Nice day to be out there. Stay safe.